Hey guys, this is attorney Bilal Khaliq. I'm a mitigation attorney right here in Dallas, Texas. And so today we're going to talk about uh, getting a green card or a permanent residency in the United States through marriage. Now, I joke with people that getting married and getting a green card is probably the easiest way to get a green card if the marriage is genuine. And it could be the most difficult way to get a green card if it is not, okay? Um, the law says that when you marry a U.S. citizen or that you marry a permanent resident, all marriages are for fraudulent purposes just to get papers and the burden is on you, the applicant and the person getting the benefit. So what is the burden? The burden is that the U.S. government looks at the marriage that give us reasons to see why this is a genuine marriage. They look at your race, religion, age, they look at the culture, they look at how many times you've been married, they look at you know your lifestyles, um, your future plans to get an idea whether it's a genuine marriage or not. Uh, the more the age difference is, the more the difference in culture, religion. Let's say you've been married once, and you know she's been married three times, and she has a criminal history, and you don't. All this kind of adds up to the doubts that the officer is going to have. So if you're going to get married, make sure that it's genuine. Make sure that you mix your assets. That means that you have joint bank accounts, uh, bills, insurance, uh, life insurance, uh, car registration. That also should all have everybody's name on it. Uh, take a lot of pictures, um, have a lot of witnesses, make your relationship public. It should be on social media. It shouldn't be a hidden secret that you're married. And as long as you can you know, satisfy these requirements, you can go ahead and file the petition. Now, if you entered this country legally, you can get your green card here. You can file the petition. In three months, you'll get a work permit and a travel permit. And about nine to 10 months, you'll get an interview. At that interview, the officer actually has the right to separate you. So he can put the man separately and the woman separately, ask questions, and then compare. And some of those questions are quite tough. You know, it's, it, it's interesting that even after being married 20 years, some people can't guess the, the color of the toothbrush that their spouse uses, right? But they can ask you these questions just to make that you guys live together. So as long as you pass those questions, then very simple. They approve your application and you get your green card. If you don't pass these questions, they give you one opportunity. So once upon a time, what happened is I went to an interview and this uh, gentleman actually married a U.S. citizen and the gentleman was from Eastern Europe. Now it's really interesting, they all got separated. Uh, the officer asked the girl, how many rooms in your house? And she says, I've got one bedroom. And the officer asked the gentleman, says, how many rooms in your house? And he said, I've got two bedrooms. And I was like, okay, I, I've caught them, you know, they don't live together. We realized that in Eastern Europe, you call your bedroom a bedroom, and you call the main living room a bedroom. So I actually had to get a, a cultural affidavit from an expert saying, this is how you, uh, you know, call your bedrooms in Eastern Europe. And as long as we explained it, you know, it worked out well. So if you're planning on getting married, make sure it's genuine. Uh, feel free to give us a call. We can help you, guide you, prepare you for the interview, and make sure that we minimize the risk that the immigration officer will doubt your intentions. Again, this is attorney Bilal Khaliq from Dallas, Texas. Feel free to give us a call. Our phone number is 214-453-2500, and our website is boldlegal.com.